Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to show you how to eliminate all the wind noise from your microphone on your camcorder or your DSLR and it is extremely cheap, basically free. All you need is a stuffed animal and a glue gun and a pair of scissors. So if you got that and you got your camera, this will save you 20 bucks. If you're the type of person that doesn't like DIY and you just really want to know how to get rid of all that wind noise and you don't feel like doing a project, I'll put a link in the description where you can pick up some of these on Amazon, but they're about $20, so this will this will save you some cash, and yeah, it'll just make your videos sound so much more professional, and just overall quality go up that much. So, stick with me, and let's do this. Okay, guys, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting a little screen over these. This camera's got two different microphone slots, so we're going to have to put a little furry screen over each one of these. This is going to be very simple. So first thing we're going to want to make sure the lens cap is closed. You don't get anything on there. Um, like I said before, you're going to need a glue gun. So I got mine. Should already be heated up. Yeah, it should be good to go. Okay, so I just you know, any glue gun will do. It don't really matter. You don't need anything real fancy for this. And then I got this at my local thrift shop for $2. But if you already have, you know, a stuffed animal, that will do fine. I kind of want, I wanted to pick up one because I wanted one that was black. Uh, kind of, it's just not so, my other camera it was pink and it kind of stuck out like a sore thumb. So I just kind of matched the camera a little bit. So first off, you want something that's this really thin soft stuff. The way I see it is usually the cheaper the stuffed animal, the better it is. Uh, the claw machine ones are usually really good. That's what this feels like. It's that type of material. So I'm just going to cut a little of this uh, fur off on here. Okay, so, and you want to do this, uh, it kind of, this first stuff kind of gets everywhere at first when you're doing this, it kind of like sheds, it's kind of funny, <laughs> kind of goofy. Okay, so we got way more than we're going to need. So I could just do one big one or I could do two little circles. I think it'll be a little safer to do this um, by just doing one big one, it'll be a little easier. So I'm just going to cut it, you know, a little bigger than it so let's oh, let's do that okay and you can see this is like you can might be even be able to see through it a little um i don't know i can see th the light through it i don't know if the camera is picking that up but it is extremely perforated so sound is going to get through it no problem that's why you want these really cheap really cheap ones and yeah let's uh okay let's give that a cut a little big come on Let's see, did I cut that big enough? I might have to cut another one. No, I think, yeah, I think that might be just big enough. Okay, so now what I want to do is very important. Okay, now with my glue gun, I want to glue the outer perimeter, but I want to do it very thin, and I don't want to let any of the glue get into those holes. The, the reason I'm using hot glue is because if it does get in there, I can just pull it off. Also, if I ever need to replace this or it starts to get gunked up or anything, I could just pull it off and make a new one. The hot glue is very easy to take off. So I'm going to do this pretty thin and I'm going to try to stay kind of farther away. Sorry, it's got, my arm's kind of shaky. I worked out this morning and I'm still, well, I worked out just like a little while ago and I, my arms and stuff are still, still shaky. Okay, so I take that. Okay, I'm going to set that down just so it's easier for me to do this. And I'm just going to go like that. And like that. Okay, and I don't want to jam it on there because I don't want to smash the glue anywhere it's not supposed to be. I just want to lightly stick it on there. Okay, and just give that, you know, a minute for the glue to dry. Um, you can, like, see here it didn't really set there. So I can carefully go around it and just make sure, you know, it kind of sits on there. You just want to be very careful. Once again, you don't get into any of the, the actual, you know, microphone holes. And, you know, you want it kind of loose, but you want it on there, but nice and loose. So that is actually perfect. <laughs> it's going to stay on in the wind, but it's not like jammed into there. Okay. And uh, nothing got on the lens cap. So, you know, nothing's going to mess with any functions of the camera. You're not going to be able to see that. That is, it's lower than the lens. So the lens isn't going to pick up. You're not going to see any of that. But if it was, you would just cut off the top, you know, trim it down. Or you can uh, cover the lens and lightly burn it with a lighter 
just, you know, whatever. But um, I'm going to show you guys a clip of me riding an electric skateboard without a windscreen. I was I filmed a video yesterday, and I did not have it because it's a new camera, and I recently switched from the other camera. So I was like, you know what, I'm an idiot. Why didn't I make a windscreen for this? So I have to reshoot that video. But here's a short clip of me riding an electric skateboard without a windscreen. There'll be people on bikes and running and stuff, and I kind of feel like a jerk just, like, blowing by them. Like, <laughs> you know, like they're all working out so hard. I'm just having a nice, relaxing stroll, so... Okay, now here's a short clip of me riding an electric skateboard with a windscreen. Yeah, I'll push it all the way in. Okay, I'll put on the screen how fast I'm going. I got a cycling app going in my pocket. I'm gonna slow down here. Okay, you can see that a drastic difference. So, yeah. Just, well, you will really benefit from this. And even in low wind situations, all wind situations, it's gonna pretty much take it out unless you're in a freaking tornado. You are not going to hear pretty much any wind. If you didn't hear it on the electric skateboard, you're not going to hear it just standing around filming in your backyard. Hi right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope that little camera hack helped. And if you don't mind sacrificing one of your favorite stuffed animals, definitely, definitely worth doing. So, until next time, I'll see you later.